Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to some more LS PDFR. I uh, have been away from this game for about a week or so, um, simply for the fact that I had so many videos recorded of this that I just had to get some of them uploaded, and I'm finally at the point now to where I can uh, <laughs> get back to playing it some more. So, went ahead and got our uh, armor and our police gear out of the trunk. We're going to be doing the typical uh, callouts and our uh, proactive patrolling for today. Uh, basically, um, all the mods that I've been putting in here has been uh, really, really cool so far. Like, everything has been working. Oh, I'm hearing an alarm or something over here. Oh, now it's off. That's been a false alarm. All the mods so far have been uh, playing nice and actually working with each other. Everything has been really, really cool thus far. Uh, I guess we should make ourselves uh, available for calls here, so, which is really good. There's nothing worse than modding this game and then having, whoa, nothing but issues with it crashing. I mean, it's still occasionally, the game doesn't crash, it's just sometimes a plug-in will crash, uh, but other than that, it seems to be uh, playing nice as of this as of now. Everything has been working really good. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, I know that when uh, the LSPDFR just came out for GTA 5, I played a couple of episodes of it, but there just really wasn't a lot to do. So I only did a few episodes. Now that there's just a lot of modding and stuff for it, it really makes it much more um, like desirable to play. There's a lot of stuff to do in here now. Go ahead and merge lanes here. So basically what we'll do is we'll kind of just, uh, we'll run plates on people. Like this guy here, we'll just kind of just do our normal patrol and randomly run plates. Suspect license plate, 20 Union Zebra William 110, no 1099s. So no 1099s, which means he doesn't have any warrants, he doesn't have any outstanding tickets, he's only got one citation. So he's pretty clean. Seems like it's uh, been pretty quiet so far tonight. We're only about three minutes into our patrol here and things are looking pretty nice. I know some people um, like are always like on me in the comments about, you know, like how come you don't just go out guns blazing and shoot that guy? Or how come you guys just don't um, like spin him out? Or how come you don't slam into him or block him or anything? Well, it's because I try to make this as realistic as I possibly can. Like, I, you know, cops are not just going to go slamming into vehicles on a beginning of a pursuit. They're not going to go guns drawn and start blasting everybody. Like, I try to play this as realistic as I possibly can, for the most part. Obviously, I kind of speed through lights and stuff. Suspect license but... plate 08 Zebra Queen Boy 128 no 1099. Alright, no 1099s on that one. Alright, so, whoa, whoa, this guy just cut me off here. Alright, um, not sure what this guy is, is doing here. This might be the same vehicle that we just ran plates on a minute ago, but we're gonna run another plate check to see if it's the same guy or not. Because he just cut me off and then went back, didn't even signal or anything, so we might end up pulling this guy over. This looks like it's a black baller. Occupied by plate. one person. Two zero King William John eight three five no ten ninety nine. Nah, we'll let, we'll let it go. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be uh that much of a jerk. I'll let it I'll let it slide. I was gonna go ahead and uh, pull him over for changing lanes, but yeah. The station wagon up here, though, is the one that I'm looking at now. Alright. Can't quite get to the station wagon here. I'd like to try and run a plate on the station wagon if I can. Let's see if we can't, uh... Especially with him driving as slow as he is. Let's get up here. And then let's run a plate on the station wagon. 
It's a, it looks like a Regina is the actual vehicle name in the game. Didn't stop at the red light either. Six, seven, Nora, King, Young, three, four, two, no, Ken, 99. Looks like the driver is a Jennifer Hickey. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull her over up here after this red light and uh, get her for failure to stop at a red light back there. As soon as this light turns green, we'll light her up and pull her over just up past this car on the right up here. Not too bad though, guys. Uh, almost six minutes into our patrol here and no major shootouts or terrorist activity or anything too crazy. It's been pretty quiet. I like that. We might get, you know, a pull over here and there. You know, that's the thing is I like about this, this Let's Play is it's going to be action packed sometimes. You know, there might be some really cool, uh, you know, shootouts or pullovers or anything along those lines. Let's go ahead and light her up right here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and have her pull up a little more along the curb here. Right along the curb there. And perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and get behind her here. We'll go ahead and uh, turn on the spotlight and light it up. And let's uh, jump out and go talk to Miss Hickey. All right, you detect an odor of marijuana. Okay, driver appears calm. All right. You're away. How's it going, Mike, with the LS? PD, Los Santos Police Department. Uh, the reason I pulled you over is you failed to uh, stop at a red light back there. Um, so I went ahead and uh, performed a traffic stop. Hey. So if you've got some ID on you, I'd Get like up. to see that, please. Thank you, uh, Miss Hickey. Uh, hang out. I'll be right back with you. Hey, hey. You clearly see that I'm trying to perform a traffic stop here, and this bus is, like, trying to wedge his way in. All right, let's go ahead and run her information here. So she's got a valid license and uh, <clears throat> no active warrants. So let's go ahead and just give her a citation for running that red light back there. Oh! And she just took off on us. Alright, so I did... Oh, she almost just crashed at this intersection. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and show us uh, in pursuit of that Regina uh, occupied by one white female. We're heading uh, eastbound on San Andreas Drive. Uh, did a traffic stop on her, and uh, she just took off on us, so we are uh, in pursuit. All right, so I did detect a hint of marijuana when I came up to the window, so that tells me that she's probably got drugs on her, so she felt the need to decide to take off. I was going to question her about it, and then I was just going to give her a citation, uh, but now she's uh, definitely got resisting arrest, failure to yield to a police officer. She's, ch she's chalking up the felonies now. Whoa! What is he doing? These cops are crazy. Alright, so, as of now, I'm just gonna stay as the primary unit. I'm not gonna radio in too many- Oh! Too many backup units yet. Oh my gosh! I don't know why these- Oh! I don't know why this guy is being so aggressive. They're not supposed to be aggressive like that. Alright. Here we go, we're stopping. Let's make sure she's gonna stop before I jump out. All right, she stopped. All right, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now, on the ground. On the ground. All right, let's move in for the arrest. If I can, there we go. Let me get in there for the arrest. I can't quite get her for the arrest. She's like inside the the 
There we go. I got her now. All right. Jennifer Hickey. Come on over here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll pray for you, baby. Let's go ahead and set her down real quick here. Little shit. And then let's go ahead and uh, search her, make sure she's got nothing on her. I told you. Obviously, you're supposed to have a female officer to do this, but we don't have a female officer currently. So we're going to uh, go ahead and stand her up. We're going to go ahead and put her in the back of the uh, patrol car here. That's right. Get in the car and behave. Come on, get in the car. Oh, she's not going to get in the car, so maybe I have to... Oh, now she is. Now she is. Okay. She teleported in the car, so we're good. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, search her vehicle. And uh, Slow it down. see if we can find anything that caused her to want to run like that. Found nothing of interest in the uh, the driver's side. Let's go ahead and check the back of it here and see if there's anything back here that caused her to want to to want to take off on us like that. Like I said, I did smell marijuana. Ooh, we found a weapon. So I don't know if she's uh, got a permit for that or not. So we'll have to uh, take that into consideration. Maybe that's why she took off. Is she had a unregistered firearm in the vehicle? Nothing of interest. So we've got a pile up of cars over here. So we're gonna get the tow truck to uh, come from this direction over this way. To get this vehicle taken out of here. All right, tow truck is coming. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the cruiser here and wait for the tow truck to come and collect this vehicle. Oh, there he is. All right, Miss Hickey, so we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, drive to the jail here once he gets that vehicle taken. All right. Attention all units. We have a possible 503 in Murrieta Heights. Units respond code three. All right, so I'm not available for that call because we, uh, we do have a prisoner. So we're gonna go ahead and take her uh, to jail. Charlie 4, roger that. We're in the area. Looks like somebody else has already picked it up anyway, so... Looks like, uh, Jennifer is going to be going to jail, uh, for resisting arrest. Um... Yeah, she ended up taking off on us on that, uh, that patrol back there, so... That's real too, that's really too bad. She was just gonna get a simple citation, and she decided that she would rather take off and, uh, resist arrest, so... We're gonna go ahead and, uh take her to jail we'll go ahead and take Jennifer in ourselves all right come along this way all right uh, miss Hickey just so you know this cell right here is going to be yours let's go ahead and get you all processed in here and guess what? The sheets haven't even been put in yet, so I don't know how long you're going to be in here, but that's not for me to decide. But there you go. There's your new room for the night. You know, maybe you should think twice about uh, resisting arrest. I was just going to give you a citation for running the red light and question you about the uh, the odor of marijuana in your vehicle, but you decided you wanted to run, and now you've got a few felonies on your belt. So you can sit there and think about what you've done. I've got better things to do, like head to the donut shop. <laughs> I'm getting a little hungry. But at any rate, guys, that was a little bit slower of a patrol. Uh, but nonetheless, we did make a single arrest, which is always uh, good in our book and makes this department look good. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys on the next patrol.